All right, it's time to do a little more work to the old D21, D20A-6 Komatsu Dozier. And what we're going to try and do right now is we're going to replace the chains on the tracks. And as you can see, I used the machine herself to jack herself up. Walked it up on some timbers over on this side, on the right hand side, then used the machine and the blade in the front to lift the machine up and put some boards under the balance point of the tracks. And then when I let it down, it let me put my other timbers in the back. And now I've got her jacked up to where when I get ready, she's a direct drive machine. All I got to do is jack it up a little bit, take my shims out from under the front. She'll clear the ground on this side by about three inches. I can take pads off and then use my little come along to roll the track to where I can get more pads until eventually they're all off. Break the chain, then go in and put my new chains on and reinstall the pads. And then when I get through doing that, we'll do the reverse order and I'll move all my blocking around and shift it up to the right hand side of the machine. And we'll do the same procedure over on this side until we get the pads off, put the new chains on. And the tensioners on the tracks, what I'll do is I'll block up under my four stay arm on the front there. And then I'll use the blade with a six by six to push the tensioners in on each side so that I can get slack to put the new chain on. Then I'll put grease in the zert fitting and push them back out. And they'll be about the same tightness that these are here. And then I can start reinstalling the new pads. In the old days, we used to just roll one out, break the makeup link, and roll it off of one set of tracks and put it on another. But at my age now, I'd have to do things kind of a little bit easy on myself and the biggest thing that I want to try and pick up at my age is a cold Anheuser-Busch product all right let me get back to work and I'll get something done where I can give you an update